Hello, sunshine. Welcome back to my channel. Today is different video that I been planning on. I've been um, writing it in my notes. It is an update. Like I said in my previous two videos that I'm going to update you guys about my life from August until now or in the yeah, end now. First of all, happy February 1st. Why not? Happy February 1st. How are you guys? I hope everything is going well with you guys and I hope this COVID is not bothering you. I hope you guys got the vaccine because when I got the vaccine, oh boy. Okay, about the vaccine that I just told you guys about. I took the vaccine in January, in the beginning of January. I took the first dose, the Motrina. It was awful experience and I I regret it, but it actually made me healthier and I died of COVID and all that. Which I really love now. So I could just take my mask and all that, but now it's, I still have to wear the mask just in case. Wear your mask, everybody. Wear your mask, everybody. Um, but yeah, I, the second day, my arm started hurting all over, like like this, all over, and my body started aching. But then, it took like a few days, like three days, four days, for the first dose of COVID vaccine. But the second dose of COVID vaccine, it was awful. It was the worst. I stayed the whole week of, like, pain. I took it the same day and my it started like the pain started like coming out on me at night while I was like um giving a patient care to my to one of my patients and it started it started to kick in the the pain started to kick in and when I went home and then my whole body, my muscles were aching, my bones. I got like a little fever. It was awful. This was awful. And then the next day, which is good, the next day I just uh, escorted a patient to his apartment, which I didn't do much patient care. Which is good. Which is I love escorting patients to their appointments. But here's the thing: when I came back, then I was hungry and all that. Me and my coworker, we went to McDonald's. We ate, and then I threw up all the food that I ate, which is a big no-no. I don't know if, it's, if everybody actually reacted to that, if everybody threw up, everybody have different effects, pain, different side effects. So there's my experience with the vaccine. I don't know about, there are like four vaccines, which I took the Moderna, not the Pfizer, not the Johnson, not the other one, the last one. So that's my vaccine experience. So, let's get started. In August, I finally did my CNA clinical days, the last days of August, which is weird because I started 
CNA. I started talking talking about my CNA classes in June, but I finished in August. I know it's not three months; it's two months. But Malcolm X, I don't know what's going on with them. I did most of my CNA class virtual, so I have not learned anything. Basically, I have my book, so. Anyway, in September, I applied for Malcolm X a nursing program, which I have been doing, working on until November, like submitting my my papers, my documents, and all that. But they keep rejecting them, they keep refusing them, and they keep, they kept ignoring my emails, my my papers and all that, so I don't know why, but hey. In September, I started looking for jobs, my senior jobs. However, I have not taken my CNA state exam, which I finally took it in November. I took my ATI exam, but unfortunately, I failed it. I know, it's hard. Then I started my BCT course. BCT is patient care technician, which all, they only do the EKG in the venipuncture, which the name is so hard. Philip, dummy, whatever that word, I don't know. Anyway, I started taking it which I have not learned anything. I, I learned during the clinical, which is only like five days each week. I mean, each week we met, we meet twice, which I have I learned a little bit, but the rest of the theory class for the PCT I have not learned anything, unfortunately. In October, I got hired at. Life Scan Labs, which is the best lab laboratory there is in Illinois, I think, in the United States, hopefully, yeah. Then I was in the PCT Labs, I mean, PCT Labs, and then, and then I've been looking for CNA jobs, however, I didn't take yeah, in November, I took my CNA state exam, which I did not take because there were technical difficulties in the state exam thing. So we re -squ re it. Then, oh wait, I took it in October then. I took it in November and I passed it. Then I got a CNA job at Upton Deals. I got a job at Upton DLC company, which is in Upton. Upton, yeah, the name. And then I got a job at Elevate Care Chicago North. But I started in December. You know, because of the process, the interview process, the application process, and all that took at that time. And you know, while I was working as a lab processor at LabScan Labs, so I went to Aurora, Colorado, to take my HESI exam because drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. I, I, I've been looking at the school, BMA Medical Institute, since summer for my practi practical nursing and my Rochester nursing that I want to go to. And I hopefully, I, I've been planning on it. So, okay, back up a little. I'm like, why? 
to, to do Wakamak Neurothink program. Wakamak, I stopped uploading, I stopped contacting, and I stopped everything because they just ignore my, my emails, they ignore, they kept rejecting my documents and all that. And I love Michael Max, no offense, but the staff is, no, I hate them. So I applied for Rasmussen College, which, which I am now in. I just started January 4, but with my doubles at Alphabet, Alabate, Alabate Gear Chicago North with my doubles, working doubles, which is a big mistake and a big regret because if you're in school, don't never do doubles. And so, I miss like four weeks of school and, and school assignments and they are considering me, considering dropping my classes. But thankfully, I just start doing my classes and I start, I told my DON and my DON is like, no more devil for you, talk about studying and studying for Okay, moving on. In November, what happened? I applied for my for BMO Medical Institute. Like I said, I've been looking into that school since summer. But I, I was scared because I have to go over there and live on my own and all that. And pretty creepy, pretty scary, but I have to live on my own. I have to learn. Big responsibility for me, but I'm gone. I took the HESI exam in Colorado. Colorado, Aurora, Aurora, Colorado is so beautiful. I just want to go back. I miss it every single day of my life right here. So I want to go back. And, but I failed the HESI by 8%, which is darn it. And then in December, I started working at Elevate Care, Chicago North. So far, so good. I love it. Working, they ordinate me for one week and they gave me once, one week or two weeks single shifts. But then later on, they start giving me doubles and all that and I start having no life whatsoever. And then I took a break. Well, actually, I didn't take a break. They gave me. I was. It, they were my day off, so I took that my HESI exam at a hotel, and I passed it with a seventy-five percent, which is the passing grade. Now I'm my my main. Focus my priority and everything is Dima Medical Institute. I'm trying. I transfer my college transcript. I I'm. I did my college for success. I did my resume. Sent sent those out. I'm working sending my high school transcript will be sending this week probably. I hope this week of February. Then been busy working doubles at Albert Gear, which is a trust trust because while I'm studying at Rasmussen College, it's not like my main college that I want to go to and continue going to because I'm I, I really want to go to be my medical institute because I really love practical nursing outlet, outline of how they do things. So I just want to get into that school and start studying. And then I filmed my Cobra Brigade experience at the same hotel 
I'm going to put this description, the video link in the description box. In January, I've been working out, sending out my high school transcript and my papers to be Medical Institute. And yeah, now basically my life is, is like my high priority is Beamer Medical Institute and how I go in there, live, start my new life. And then, yeah. Beamer Medical Institute is my high priority for right now. I really want to get into it. But now I'm getting, I want to, what I need to do right now is I need to wait for my high school transcript to be checked in, to be at Beamer Medical Institute. And I need to get my interview and then I need to wait for my acceptance letter. And then, if I get accepted, which I will be getting accepted, inshallah, I will be getting accepted, then I will start looking for jobs over there and a place to stay and I will start moving my stuff. And you guys will be coming with me for now, that's my update from August, September, October, November, December, January, basically from August to January. I will, I will start getting you guys updated. I will start posting often and I will keep you posted for this month. February because this month will be perfect. For now, let me go focus on my investments in college. But for now, I love you guys so much. So, so, so much. Thanks for watching. And just keep shining this beautiful smile of yours and I will see you next time. Peace.